at the top tonight. Big changes over at Gregory Portland ISD just in time for the start of the new school year. District leaders say there's a lot for students and staff to look forward to, including the opening of a new middle school campus. Our Bill Churchwell sat down for a one on one interview with the district superintendent about the final preparations underway. It is tonight's top story at 10. A new school year bringing a fresh start to not only students, but also for teachers and staff in GPISD. They deserve nothing less than the best educators working with them day in and day out. And those employees are being recognized for that hard work with a boost in their paychecks. School trustees unanimously approved a total of $1.5 million in pay raises, with teachers seeing a 3% increase in pay. In addition, clerical, technical, and auxiliary staff will see an increase of $1.25 per hour. So they got an increase. Bus drivers went from $22 to $24 an hour. Full-time employees will also receive $2,500 in retention stipend pay during next school year. Every single person, whether they're driving a bus, serving a meal, changing out light bulbs. School Superintendent Dr. Michelle Cavasso says there is no greater investment the district can make. I sat down with her as she gears up for the upcoming school year. To engage in ways that um, people were more accustomed to, but also looking at ways that we can uh, use what we learned last year. Including how to best protect students against COVID-19. Dr. Cavasso says while districts are not allowed to mandate face coverings at school, administrators are highly encouraging their use, as well as encouraging employees and students who are eligible to get vaccinated. Students that are under 12 cannot be, are not eligible for vaccinations. And so we're continuing our safety and sanitation processes and procedures with um, the way we're cleaning our schools frequently throughout the day. We will have partitions still available, um, especially at our elementary level. The superintendent says the new school year will also include the opening of one of the largest projects funded by a school bond in GPISD. Right now, crews are working to ensure the brand new GP Middle School is ready to welcome students. The project was part of the district's $117 million bond package voters approved back in 2015. And that's not all. We have a new career and technology center that is opening at our high school, as well as a 22 classroom addition on our high school. The first day of school for GP students is August 12th. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Thank you, Bill. And the growing community of Gregory is getting a new city hall and fire station thanks to a donation from one of the contractors assigned to the Gulf Coast Growth Ventures project. A groundbreaking ceremony was held yesterday at the site of the new municipal building that will be constructed in the heart of the town. The complex will consist of two buildings totaling about 5,000 square feet, along with new offices for a city hall and a gathering space for community meetings. Crews are also building a 2,000 square foot foot fire station to replace the current building that was damaged in Hurricane Harvey. The municipal complex is expected to be completed in the fall of next year. In all, it will cost about $5 million and that money coming from a group called CKJV. Just one of the many contractors working on the Gulf Coast Growth Ventures project in that area.